It's another hot afternoon in Kunduz, Afghanistan. Behind me, you see US forces manning a hastily made checkpoint only a few hundred meters outside the town of Anbar Tapa. Tensions have been mounting as the Taliban gain ground and threaten to overwhelm beleaguered ISAF forces. Due to, the, due to the NATO and the US withdrawing from the region, the Taliban have seen an opportunity to gain the upper hand in yet another tragic turn of events. The ISAF forces were caught off guard by this mounting insurgency and the Afghan National Army and National Police are struggling to maintain order. They've reported a rise in improvised explosive devices, or IEDs and suicide bombings in the past few months. And the Afghan National Police have asked for help to stabilize the situation and allow the civilian population to once more resume their daily lives without being under constant threat of being caught in the middle of the struggle between ANP and insurgent forces to maintain control in the region. To combat the rising insurgency, it's rumored that a NATO combat unit called the Joint Task Force 207 will deploy to the region and serve as peacekeepers and as a warning to the insurgent forces. They have recently left the island of Altis after five months of intense combat operations against a communist insurgency. They've left the island with an uncertain future and have proven to the international community and NATO that they are capable of operating independently and provide lethal results to their enemies. When it comes to their potential deployment, the press officer stated they do not comment on operational matters and directed us to contact NATO's press officers. In the midst of the turmoil, however, one thing is certain. A direct intervention is needed to prevent further destabilization of Kunduz. This is Ron Brenson reporting live from Kunduz for BBC News. How secure!